Hi, my name is Dr. Robert Gillum. I'm board certified in integrative medicine and the author of the book, The Hashimoto Survival Guide. And if you're watching this video, you or someone you care about has diabetes. And you may also be suffering from uh, such things as uh, diabetic neuropathy. This is where you have pain, numbness, or tingling in your hands or feet. Or you have wounds or sores that just won't heal. Or maybe you're afraid of losing your eyesight or having body parts amputated as these are common concerns with people who have diabetes, which affects almost 30 million Americans, and those numbers are rising. Now, I'm going to discuss in detail what you can do about this, but first, I want you to see the big picture. And that is this. You have diabetes because you have both metabolic and neurological imbalances, causing your cells to reject the glucose that is trying to enter into those cells. This could be due to an autoimmune condition where your immune system destroys the beta cells in your pancreas, preventing it from making insulin, as in type 1 diabetes. Or, your pancreas could be making enough insulin, but your cells are ignoring this, this signal. Basically, insulin knocks on the cell's door and the cell lets the glucose inside, as in type 2 diabetes, which is what I'm going to focus on in this video as it can be reversed. And I'm going to uh, talk about how you can reverse type 2 type diabetes, but first, let's look at how you got diabetes in the first place. You didn't just wake up one day and have diabetes. This is a process that takes years to develop, and it starts with insulin resistance. Then it progresses to prediabetes, or metabolic syndrome, and then you are officially diagnosed with diabetes and told that there is nothing you can do about it and that you have to take metformin for the rest of your life. Well, that's simply not true. You can reverse type 2 diabetes. It's just a matter of reversing the process, meaning you go from diabetes to metabolic syndrome to insulin resistance and then finally back to normal. And you can do this in as little as three to four months using proper nutrition and the specific nutraceuticals. Think about it for a second. You can reverse years of damage in three to four months. So how do you do this? How do you reverse diabetes in three to four months? First, you're going to have to step outside the box, meaning that you need to find a doctor who understands integrative medicine. And here's why. Traditional medicine has no answer for chronic conditions. If your medical doctor does notice that your blood sugar is heading in the wrong direction, the typical advice would be to eat less and exercise more, which isn't very helpful and you end up with diabetes at which point your doctor puts you on metformin and your health starts to go downhill. Now think about it. Was metformin life-changing for you? Or did your health continue to, de to decline, leading to pain, numbness, tingling in your hands or feet, or maybe even sores that wouldn't heal or, or diabetic ulcers? If the latter is true, or if you want to prevent this from happening, you have to step away from traditional medicine before your diabetes gets worse, leading to blindness and amputation. So, this is what we need to do. First of all, we need to run thorough blood work instead of the minimal blood work that doctors typically use. And then we need to interpret this the blood work using optimal ranges rather than laboratory ranges. And here's why. Medical doctors follow a standard of care, which sounds good, but it's really not. What standard of care means that no matter where you go, New York, California, Florida, you are going to get the same care. And that means that you're going to get the same blood work. You're going to get the same interpretation because that's what standard of care means. It's like McDonald's. No matter where you go in America, the food is going to taste the same. And you cannot use those standard of care model and that has resulted in over 30 million Americans being diabetic. So what's the difference between integrative medicine and uh, traditional medicine? Well, traditional medicine runs just enough tests to diagnose you with a disease or condition and doesn't do anything until you're, they consider you to be sick. Now, in integrative medicine, more blood work is needed because integrative medicine looks for the underlying cause of your problem and takes action before you get sick. In traditional medicine, uh, the accepted range for, are really broad. Uh, and they vary from lab to lab, meaning that you could be normal in one lab uh, using one lab's interpretation and be abnormal using another lab's interpretation because these labs use the data that they collect to determine what's normal, with lab normal encompassing 95% of the population. Now, a, a more accurate way of saying this is the only 
only the worst 5% of the population are considered abnormal. And think about it. Having normal test results doesn't really mean you're healthy. It just means you aren't in the worst 5% of the population. So, in integrative medicine, we raise the bar, meaning that we interpret your results using optimal ranges. For example, laboratory reference ranges for blood sugar are between 75 and 100, while optimal ranges are between 85 and 99. So, if you fall outside optimal ranges, we can take action. Whereas traditional medicine doesn't act until you've gone too far out of balance and they put you on medication which doesn't address the underlying cause of your problem. So why, do, you know, why don't medical doctors act sooner if they see that you're heading in the wrong direction? It's because the remedy that they use, drugs, come with side effects. Which means that medical doctors won't use or won't usually prescribe any medication until you reach the tipping point of uh, will this medication do more good than harm. And because all medications cause damage to either your stomach, your liver, or your kidney, depending on what you take, they all will have a negative impact on your overall health. Now, I have no issue with taking medication for short-term or acute conditions, but if you have a chronic condition and no one is addressing the underlying cause and there's no chance of ever getting your health back to normal, then you're going to be on that drug for the rest of your life. And that's a terrible approach. All you have to do is look around to see this. Of all the people who are in the hospitals right now, over 90% are there because of a chronic condition. Now the leading causes of death in America are cancer and heart disease, both of which are chronic conditions that weren't caught or corrected in time because traditional medicine has lowered the bar so low that they're te you know, with their test and interpretation, uh, don't let this happen to you. Take control over your health and find an integrative doctor who will catch and correct your problems before they go too far. Now, all chronic conditions have some common threads, including anemia, chronic infections, un uh, unstable blood sugar, adrenal gland dysfunction, hormone imbalances, autoimmune attacks, uh, hidden infections, food sensitivities, uh, medication side effects, and, and low oxygen. Now, how many of these do you have? Do you even know? Has anyone ever checked your adrenal glands? There's a huge connection between blood sugar instability and adrenal function, meaning that if you have blood sugar problems, you almost assuredly will have adrenal dysfunction. So what does an integrative doctor do after finding the underlying cause of your problem? They address each problem in the correct order using nutrition and specific nutraceuticals to address each issue. What you need to understand is this. Things like high cholesterol, high blood sugar, and uh, high blood pressure, they're symptoms. And they have underlying causes that medication are not addressing. But with a proper diet and nutritional support, you can correct these underlying issues that cause you to have these symptoms. Now, to summarize, to reverse your type 2 diabetes, you need to find the underlying causes by running a proper test. You need these tests to be interpreted and the results with results using optimal ranges. And then you need to address these underlying problems in a way that actually addresses those problems. And the only way that you're gonna do that is through the proper diet and nutritional support. So, if your goal is to reverse your diabetes, I may be able to help you with it. But, you have to be willing to take responsibility for your own health and do more than just pop a pill. You have to be willing to make dietary changes and you have to be willing to pay out of pocket for some of these things that insurance won't pay for. Now, let's talk about addressing the symptoms you're experiencing, the tingling, the numbness, the pain in your hands and the feet, and wounds that won't heal. Or, uh, for both of these, I use a therapy called pulsed electromagnetic magnetic field therapy, or PEMF. Now, this therapy dilates blood vessels keeping your red blood cells from stacking together or stacking on top of one each other and giving your cells the energy that they need to heal your body. If you've never heard of PEMF therapy, don't feel bad. Your doctor's probably never heard about it either. It usually takes about 13 years before new information trickles down and is actually implemented in your local doctor's office. Now, there's been a ton of research done on PEMF therapy. You can search PubMed and read hundreds of studies. 
NASA conducted a study and concluded that nanopulse electromagnetic therapy to be at least four times better than any other electric or magnetic therapy in healing tissue. It's non-invasive. It's pain-free. You simply lay on a mat and the magnetic field increases your blood flow, decreases inflammation, and energizes the cells. I use PMF therapy uh, along with neuro, uh, neurometabolic approach, which has a, a systemic effect, meaning that if you're willing to make a few changes that I suggest and you get your blood sugar under control and follow the principle of what I teach you, then your results can be permanent. PMF therapy alone dilates blood vessels, increasing circulation and energizing the cell by donating electrons, causing an antioxidant effect, which gives the cells the energy that they need to function properly. For example, let's say you have a liver cell. You give it more energy. Well, what are they going to use that for? They're going to detox. They may use it to make proteins or they may use it to store glycogen. If it's a brain cell, the brain cell may use that energy to release more neurotransmitters or create no more synapses. In other words, by giving your cells the energy, they can do the job at hand. Think about it. What would you do if you had more energy? You may play golf. You may spend more time with your kids or grandkids. Or you may go on a vacation. Energy is simply a means to an end. With enough energy, your body can repair almost anything. And the benefits are not limited to just one area. It's systemic. So let's say, like most people today, you have other health issues. Wouldn't it make sense to use a therapy that not only would help you relieve your, you know, the pain and, or uh, tingling and numbness you have with your peripheral neuropathy, but also to help with insomnia or anxiety, wound healing, depression, or osteoarthritis? It's a no-brainer, right? And these are just a few of the things that studies suggest that PMF therapy can help you with. PEMF therapy has been used in Europe for over 30 years. It has been cleared by the FDA for such things as non-union fractures, cancer, and post-operative uh, pain and edema. Health Canada has approved PEMF therapy for depression in people who were failed uh, to respond to medication. There have been thousands of studies on PEMF therapy on almost every conceivable condition or malady known to man. So it only makes sense to use a therapy that can not only address your main issue, your diabetic neuropathy or your poor wound healing, but also will help with these other conditions as well. If you go on my blog at BenitaSpringsPEMF.com, you can read uh, studies on how PMF therapy helps with diabetic neuropathy as well as diabetic wound healing. So if you want to reverse your diabetes, or simply manage your symptoms, I can help to schedule an appointment, call my office at 239-331-1876.